snow is here. Don't leave the cars here. What? Get the wood out. The car is here. We're staying. In the shower. Anyone else want to come in? The fever keeps going off. Please, God, don't let it be the cow. Oh, hi, Julie. Hi, Sam. Hi, Clint. I'm sorry to burst in, but your line is always busy. You never answer your beef. What am I going to do with your husband? I was wondering the same thing. <laughs> Joe Moritz's cow is having contractions. Really? He's really nervous. Oh. I tried to reassure him, but he wants to talk to you. I'll get your tie. I don't have a tie. This is going to tie oh, I'll Adam, would you tell your sister to get off the phone, please? Get off the phone! Oh, shit. Is that right if Debbie comes over and helps me with my homework tonight? Debbie? Debbie can't find America. Dad! Come on, it's a school night. Jules, I don't know. What do you think, huh? Well, it is a school night. Yeah, but... Oh, why not? <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Okay. Why not? Uh, Clem, do me a favor. Get Joe Mort on the phone, huh? Let me Thank you, honey. Oh. Adam's on the phone. Huh? What? Adam's on the phone. Oh, no. Would you tell your brother to get off the phone? Adam, get off the phone! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Excuse me, uh, Ms. Carlisle? We'll be down in a minute, pal. Uh, no rush. I was just checking. Uh, excuse me, where is the uh, gentleman's washroom? Uh, we have a lovely one downstairs. Oh, I'll show you. Yeah, well, wait, wait a minute, pal. Uh, Do you know the tie, bow tie? Uh, sure I do. Hello. Oh, just one moment, please. Darling, I think it's Mr. Moore. He sounds very hysterical. Tell him I'll be there in a second. Uh, no. He'll be right here. Oh, yes, I am the lady who sings on television. Oh, I see. Well, why don't you give us one more try? We've made a lot of changes. Everybody's a damn critic. Jules! Oh, did I hang up the phone? Oh, honey. Hello? What's... No, Joe, it's Clem. What's... Sam, Marjorie's in labor. What? Marjorie's in labor. We're on our way. I'll go down and start the truck. She's gone. Excuse me, I really need to use the room, Mark Caballeros. <laughs> Hmm? Where are my dirty pants? Here you go, buddy. Oh, listen. Oh. I'll get to the dinner as soon as I can. I'll change in the truck. Take care, darling. I love you. I love you, too. Oh, hey, I love your Norwegian tile. I've got good news and bad news. Which would you like first? Good news. There isn't any. <laughs> the bad news. Unfortunately, Mr. Henry Mancini and his orchestra can't make it to Sioux City. He says they're busy on the new Metallica album. But not to worry. It looks like we can get the Sioux City Philharmonic. That's good news. Uh -huh. Who do we have as a guest star this week? Nobody. Oh. Uh, Sean, Roger, Timothy, and the other one all called to say they loved you, but Sioux City was a bit too remote. And who could blame them? <laughs> well, there goes the James Bond sketch. Joy, my lantern. In a jiffy. Mr. Wolstein, without the Bond sketch, it looks like we're short by four minutes and 22 seconds. Make it a double. Okay. Jules, mm. I told you, you can't produce a network show from the middle of a cornfield. In L.A., the streets are paved with guest stars. Willie, we don't need guest stars. We'll build our own stock company right here, and it'll be better than anything we could do in L.A. My boy Bill, I will see that is named after me. I will. <laughs> Dicky. Jules! So what is happening in this crazy business of ours called show? Dicky, how would you like to be in a sketch with me this week? Really? Oh, God! Well, at least he's worked on camera. Oh, God! Before long, you'll have Uncle Smiley in the show. For little girls, for little girls grow bigger every day. Uncle Smiley, yeah? would you like to be in a sketch with me this week? Oh, 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 I, I better call my agent. Ooh, I better call my mother. <laughs> you know what you're going to read about me in the papers tomorrow? What? And then... He turned the gun on himself. Ah, oh, cheer up, chum. They'll be fine in the sketch. What sketch? The sketch you're gonna write. I don't feel inspired to write. Where's the Sunset Strip, the Hollywood Bowl, mud wrestling at the Tropicana? <laughs> I want to go home. 
Well, you take from your life in L.A., take from your life here. I've got no life here. Well, of course you have. There are wonderful things happening every day. Wooly, last night between Sam and Bernie and Clem and the kids and the cow and the dinner, it was mayhem. It was the Three Stooges and the Marx Brothers all rolled into one. Wooly, it would make a fabulous sketch. This is insane. I know. Business, hey, no. What happened to the lights? Business like show. Business like no. Business I know. <laughs> Everything about it is appealing. <laughs> Don't go away. Julie Carlisle will be right back. You know, Wooly, the Sioux City Philharmonic was great. Really. Mm. Well, and that storyteller, he was terrific. Mm. He reminded me of um, Garrison Keillor. Yeah, that's right. See, Wooly, two smashing performances. Yes, for the two people who are watching it. Oh, Wooly, come on. <laughs> hey, kids, come on in. The commercial's almost over. Hey, Cupcake, you want a cookie? I want a blindfold and a cigarette. Adam, get your feet off the couch. You're excited about this, aren't you? Of course I'm excited. It's about us. Now, once again, here's Julie. It is an honor to be selected to judge the semi-annual hog-calling contest. Well, if it isn't Her Majesty, all geek-gawed up in a lunch. Put your heart out, Lulu Bell. Oh, he's playing Bernie. No, he's not. Oh, you look great, big boy. <laughs> oh. Oh. Who's playing me? Bert, Clint, Arnold? Huh? Shush, wait. Ready when you are, my little prairie flower. Sammy Ray, I told you this was black tie. How's that? Black tie. <laughs> Smiley plays me. Sorry I'm late, my little sugar beet. But more cockle pepper chickens all got bumblefoot. Aha! Oh, ho, ho. Nice jugs. That's you, Clem. It's funny, Wooly. It's very funny. It's funny, isn't it, Sam? Uh... Hello, Doc. Arnie and I was in the neighborhood, and she was feeling real poorly. I don't like animals in the boudoir, except, of course, for your cousin Lyle. What you been eating? Semen? I thought you was a real lady. And I thought you was a real doctor. One, two, three, four. Thank you so much. It was great fun. I'm glad you liked it. Good night, everyone. Night, honey. Oh. I really got to hand it to you, Jules. You really pulled it off. Thanks to you, darling. Yes. Good night, Sam. The studio called. All of Sioux City's calling, and they loved you, Doc. It was so cool. I'm going to go call Debbie and see if she saw it. Cool. You're a celebrity, Dad. <laughs> I'll make some popcorn. Don't you mess up my kitchen. Well. I think I'll turn in. You haven't said a word about the sketch. Oh, it's fine. Kids enjoyed it. Bertie and Cleb enjoyed it. <laughs> Not to mention the entire population of Sioux City. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Sam? What's wrong? Why would anything be wrong? Because you don't seem to be laughing. If you want to go on national TV and make fun of your husband, it's your prerogative. Oh, oh. So you didn't like the sketch, huh? Uncle Smiley. <laughs> Sam, where's your sense of humor? Oh, I'm sorry. I guess us hick veterinarians don't have a sense of humor. Oh, darling. Sweet. Please, let's not argue. I... You trivialized my life. You made me look like hee-hawed for millions of people. Trivialized. <laughs> Excuse me, but could we have a little privacy here, guys, huh? Yeah, sure. Find all you want. Sure. Uh, come on, kids. <laughs> no, look, I don't wish to speak about it any longer. I'm going to bed.
And another thing, you may not know this, but it is harder to get into veterinary school than it is to get into medical school. <laughs> so that doctor <I'm> smiled. <laughs> Sam, I said I was sorry. Yes. I made our chocolate. You want some? No, thanks, Don. Thanks, son. Not tonight. Everything okay now? Fine. It's fine, darling. Good night. Sam, I don't want you to go to sleep angry. All right. Then I won't sleep. What are you saying? What am I saying? What am I saying? I feel... <laughs> I feel... Uncle Smiley. <laughs> I feel... Betrayed. Betrayed? Trivialized. <laughs> Trivialized? Oh, that stupid little word. <laughs> Fine. Could you get there as quickly as possible, Woolly? Thank you. Julie! Are you all right? My God, you scared the life out I'm of me. sorry. Here. What's that? Well, I think it's one of those. Oh, that. Look, nobody knows I wear one of these, okay? It's it's not cosmetic. It's 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 not. It's it's an old announcer's trick, you know, the, the diaphragm. I, I understand. Sure. What are you doing here so early, anyway? <clears throat> well, I wanted to go over my script, and I didn't want to wake anyone. And it was early, and I was awake, so I decided to come on over. Fight with the spouse, eh? It's okay. Mother and I fight all the time. Well, it was just a little disagreement. Well, hey. You know men, huh? What do you mean? Well, you know. I know what? Well, they're no damn good. Oh, yes, that. Sure. Thank you. Well, it's nice to know someone who understands. Oh, please. Anytime, Jules. I know how lonely it gets at the top. <laughs> well, sounds like the uh, troops are starting to file in, huh? Oh, Dickie, uh, could we keep this little conversation to ourselves? Not to worry, Jules. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, 
I'm sure you need a cup of tea after what you went through last night. Just remember, Julie, it's not the end of the world. Sorry I'm late. I had a flat. What did you and Sam fight about? What did Dickie do, announce it on CNN? You can't tell me anything, Jules. I got a mouth like the Grand Canyon. I'm sorry, I tried. <laughs> Sam got bent all out of shape because of the vet sketch. He thinks we made him look like a fool. So he's got no sense of humor. Oh, he's got a lovely sense of humor. You're right. He'd have to have a sense of humor if he spent his life looking at a cow's wazoo. <laughs> Come on, Jules. You told him we were going to write a skit about you guys. And he was fine. Did you remind him of that? I just kept saying, I'm sorry, Sam. Oh, sorry? You've got to stand up for yourself. Fight back. Oh, Willie, I'm a proper British lady. We're not brought up to fight. Well, you're in the colonies now, toots, and you have to learn. You can't stay a wimpy, limey, soggy Yorkshire pudding the rest of your life. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I just insulted you. You're funny. I know you didn't mean it. What if I did? Didn't. But if I did? Then I guess I'd get angry. And? And I'd probably end up apologizing to you anyway, just so everything could be nice again. No, 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 no. Nice is not enough, kiddo. Especially when you love somebody. You've got to be able to get mad at them. Trust each other. Oh, this marriage is never going to work. How did you get to be so smart? Come on. Where are we going? Back to Sam. Ow. <laughs> Hey, everybody. Dickie Duncan wears a girdle. <laughs> what? Are you going to make up with her? Yeah, what are you going to do? Look, this is between me and Julie. Not if Julie doesn't come home. But finish your breakfast. I personally don't care what she does, but uh, I think you acted like a dork, Dad. A dork? Mm -hmm. I've never been called a dork before. That's what you think. You know, I don't get it. You've made more fun of yourself on talent night at the Kiwanis Club. Everybody out. I'll hold it. I'll make that decision. Okay, everybody out. Julie, I... Don't say another word. I have something to tell you, and you Fine. damn well better listen. Fine. Oh, oh, yeah? That's what you think. Okay. You know what I should have said to you last night? I should have said, listen, Sam McGuire, you knew Woolly was going to write that sketch. What did you think he was going to do? A, a, a docudrama on hoof and mouth disease? But did I go ahead and say that? No, dumb me. I said, oh, sorry, darling, please, let's not argue. And then you said, I feel betrayed. Well, but did I tell you that you're overreacting, that you're full of it, that you're a, 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 a wimpy, soggy Yorkshire pudding? Huh? <laughs> the sketch was a spoof, Sam. I'd never betray you. Your work's important and real, and don't forget it. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I've never seen you like this before. Well, you better get used to it, because if this marriage is going to work, we have to be able to fight. <laughs> now, what did you want to say? I'm sorry. Really? Oh, dearest, I'm sorry, too. <laughs> Look, it wasn't the sketch. Well, well, it was, but it's... Well, when you work late every night, and I don't get a chance to oh, see Sam. you... Oh, well, Let me finish, please. And last night, the sketch... Suddenly, I felt insecure, and I... Somehow, underneath, I thought maybe that's how you really saw me. Never. Oh, I know that. I mean, actually, I know that. <laughs> Could I ask you something? Sure. If Bert Reynolds had played you instead of Uncle Smiley, would it have made any difference? Of course not. <laughs> But Bert would have been a step in the right direction. <laughs> what am I saying? It would have been perfect. I love you. I love you. Mm. 
Maybe Clint Eastwood. Oh, Clint Eastwood. Mm. Oh, no, Mel Gibson. <laughs> oh. The best part about fighting? Making up. I promise you, I will never make you feel trivialized oh, again. Come on. It's a stupid little word. It's a, it's a common mistake. Just don't like me. Oh, don't, 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 please, don't. Don't oh, do that. Oh, don't. this is important. No, Jules, 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 Jules! Ah! Oh, 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 don't! Oh! Oh! oh. 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 oh.